Damn, is somebody in here? On the floor, is y'all good? Look at this. You right, look at this. The real out west shit, folks. Hey man, look here. Look at this shit, gang. This shit crazy. Yo, is y'all, anybody in here, y'all good? Yo, what's to y'all? Y'all alive? I wanna give us a NPC, what's up in that bitch, folk? Damn. I know they got some money up in that bitch. I know they got some up in that bitch. I'm gonna come back on my son. I'm gonna come back with some water boots. Yo! <laughs> Ooh, it's too early. It's too early. I'm not even gonna repeat the intro. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. But something that y'all don't know. I don't see it. I see everybody reporting that NBA young boy has received bond. He will be home. Guess what? He's not home. He's still incarcerated. And do you know why? FBI, I don't know if it was the FBI or the state of Louisiana or the state of California, but they, I don't want to say planted, but they concocted a whole nother case and they put it on NBA Youngboy. So he was about to receive bond, be in his Utah home. I didn't know he lived in Utah, but that makes more, that makes sense though. It makes sense that, you know, he, when he said he was going to leave Louisiana to go to a place of tranquility and get a peace of mind. Utah seems like a very, very good place to go. I wouldn't mind going there for a couple months or something. Go hang out in the mountains with Kanye. Ain't that where he at? No, he's in Wyoming. My fault. But they planted a whole nother case on this man just to make sure he don't see the light of day. They pretty much let him get all type of bond packages ready. They let him um, put property up on the line. They let him take months, or at least, yeah, it took months for him and his lawyer to come up with a package that the uh, judge can agree to in um, terms of conditions that allow young boy to go home just to tell him, we have another case. It's too late. We sorry. You have to stay in custody. They like that's they know what they was doing, bro. They didn't have to wait until young boy got that false hope and that false sense of urgency that he was coming home and it didn't happen. One thing I got to say is that young boy fans, y'all are very determined. I'm a young boy fan myself, but I'm not the young boy fan that Soldier Boy is talking about. The young boy better and all that. I don't do none of that weird stuff, but I love his music. Y'all really came up with a petition. A petition to get what a hundred thousand votes to free young boy that so Joe Biden could look at the petition and possibly get him um, released. That's crazy. Now, on the other hand, we have a rapper that I haven't talked about that y'all probably don't know about, but the whole city of uh, the whole west side of Chicago knows about. Mr. I get jiggy with my blick. I get jiggy, I get jiggy with my Ooh, yeah. I get jiggy off four fifths. This song when it when Pronto Spaz out dropped jiggy music. I was in my 2005 Grand Prix roller off X, teed up me and my girl with the pole in the air. Oh my god. Pronto Spaz out single-handedly created a wave for the summer of 2018, 2020, 2019, whenever he dropped jiggy music. But something that y'all probably did know far as rich rich way tiller when rich way tiller was going through that beef and he supposedly visited um somebody's grave site took a doo-doo on the grave and took a pee even though they say it wasn't tiller who did it he was part of the crew part of the group that was there up oh, see my fault y'all just seen the text from the plug man y'all just seen the text from the plug yes i'll be smoking good but besides that the person who grave that was getting um, defaced or defecated on, that was by a guy named Jonathan Spazout Cersei. Cersei. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he's, his name was Spazout. He was from the Capitol Hill area. He was killed about three, four years ago. And Capitol Hill is Madison Central, and that's where Pronto Spazout is from. Pronto Spazout is from Capitol Hill on Madison Central. He's a four kind of hustler. He, Pronto Spazzo actually got his name Pronto come from that Soldier Boy song Remember Pronto, Pronto And Spazzo, he put Spazzo at the end of his name For his fallen comrade And that's pretty much the whole Rich Way Tiller thing That that was that was them beefing with the Capitol Hill foes Without getting too much into detail Because y'all love when I talk about Out West beef versus versus I can't do that with me still living out West I don't want to put a target on my name like that But Pronto Spazzo was arrested for um, a warrant on outstanding gun charge. Well, he caught a gun charge out of state. And he was touring. He was doing his thing. Going around. Linking up with Spot'em Got'em. Linking up with all the other rappers that's uh, hip to Chicago music. And the whole time he was doing it, he had an outstanding warrant for that gun case. And they went and brought my boy in last night. 
I tried to do, I didn't want to drop the video just out the blue. I wanted to do more research about his case to see what it was. So far, when I reached out to some people that supposedly know him, I'm going to put the supposedly on there because I don't know how close they are to the source or how cool they are with the spaz out camp. But they let me know that he was, got caught with a gun or some people he was with got caught for a gun. And when one person get caught with a gun, you know, it's a couple other charges that can come with that. So I'm pretty sure Pronto spaz out, if he doesn't have the gun charge directly, he probably has some charge that comes from that arrest and he's locked up right now let's hope let's pray that he gets out of jail let's also pray that he's not locked up somewhere down south because man i heard them prisons are terrible get in the comment section let me know what y'all think below i'm gone